Um, well, I started gymnastics when I was six, and it was going back like 11 years now. And I used to do dancing at Johnny Young, and pretty much I had a gym bus party at home. And since then, I started gymnastics, and I've loved it ever since. Um, yeah, I have a younger brother who's 12 now, and he's at the Men's High Performance Centre at Waste as well. Uh, yes, I'm completing my second year of Year 12, so because of last year it was so busy I split my years and I did two subjects last year and I completed and passed those and I'm doing three subjects this year, so I have my exams once I come back from Worlds. I don't have a specific gymnast as my role model, I have many gymnasts as my role model, just pretty much anyone who's better than me, I strive to be better than them. I guess it's part of my competitive nature. So yeah, it's just anyone that's better than me. I try and be as good or better than them. Um, I guess my dream skill would probably be double-double on floor. Um, it's just one of those amazing out there skills and it would be fantastic if I could learn it, but we'll see what happens. Um, not really. My routines have stayed pretty much the same, um, especially on bars. I've upgraded a bit on bolt, so I've added an extra half twist, so now I'm doing Yushenko double. Um, on floor, I've changed my routine around a little bit, so now that I'm connecting some of my tumbles with dance bonus, so that increases my start value by a couple of points. Um, the only thing that has changed majorly is beam, because I had a lot of um, connections that were kind of of the same skill and now you're not allowed to do that. So it's just been that one but it hasn't affected me that much so it's been quite good. Um, I think the hardest thing for us to handle would be um, the school, the study and the social life. Kind of all mixing that in together. Like The school and the study and the gymnastics isn't so much difficult when you just have those three but when you have a social life as well and um, going out with your friends and getting time to do that and having a normal life then that gets a little bit more challenging so it's kind of balancing all of that and being all organized. Um, my current strengths as a gymnast would probably be um, keeping motivated and getting others to get motivated and kind of just getting in and doing my program every day, no matter what. Yeah, I think that's probably the biggest thing at the moment. Uh, when I turned 18, it was about two days after I came back from the Japan Cup in Tokyo. So thankfully I only had to train once that day, which was actually pretty good. And um, mum surprised me with a kind of surprise dinner party with some of my friends from last year from school. So that was quite nice and just going out with them and kind of partying. So yeah, that was fun. After Beijing, not really, because there were a lot of World Cups and like the World Cup final that I was able to compete in and that motivation was pretty much there. But then in 2009, I got a rib injury. So kind of continuing on from that, it was a little bit challenging, but then I realized I still had goals that I wanted to do and those goals kept me moving forward. And that's pretty much why I'm still here to achieve my goals and just to be the best gymnast that I can be. It hasn't been too bad because Olivia kind of faded away after the Olympics and then um, Dasha faded away after Olivia so it's kind of been a fade off so I've been able to get used to it and um, yeah kind of pretty much just get used to it and then become my own person in the gym and I have Emily Little and George Simpson training with me every day and they're fantastic and great training partners so yeah it's pretty much, it's been kind of normal which is weird because they've trained with me for so long but yeah it's normal now. Well, as I said before there's Emily Little and Georgia Simpson and they're coming up and they're looking really good and there's Natalia Jura, Nikki Chung, um, Ashley Cooney and Jamison Rusko. They're all coming up and yeah they're looking pretty strong and they're travelling away with us to London so yeah I can't wait to see what they can do over there.
Um, yeah, that competition was fantastic and it was one of my highlights of my career, but I wouldn't call it my favourite because the Olympics were just out of this world. They were just amazing, even though um, I didn't do as well as I hoped I'd done, just the whole atmosphere and the team and the village and the arena and everything, it was fantastic. So I think the World Cup would probably be my second favourite one. Well, my realistic goal at the moment is just to make my routines and once I hit my routines then whatever happens, happens. Um, like obviously I hope to make a final, hopefully all round because I've never made all round before. Um, so yeah, hopefully all round but my number one priority is just getting in and hitting my routines. Um, pretty much going on the hitting routine thing, just consistency and quality and yeah, getting my stats up there kind of more consistent and more consistent and yeah, the quality, like getting rid of all those little point ones and point threes that I don't need to spend. Um, we're leaving on the 30th of September, which is actually tomorrow. Um, and then we're travelling to camp for a week and then we leave on the 8th of October from camp in Canberra to go to London and then we train there and I think the first day of comp is the 14th of um, October, so looking forward to it. Um, I think Dasha and my coaches. Um, Dasha because she's always been that one step better than me and I've always strived to be as good as her and she's just been a great role model in the gym and like one of my best friends while I've been training and then obviously my coaches because they pushed me and pushed me and taught me how to do stuff and know all my moods and my strengths and weaknesses so just being around them every day kind of helps me get going and get motivated.